so dear friends this is the plan for the day we will be starting in about 5 minutes the first two lectures as i was just speaking are two extremely extremely important uh, lectures supracondylar fracture humerus and lateral condyle humerus and we have session 2 crash injuries and pulled elbow along with the proximal radio ulnar injuries and then we have session 3 which has montage and the pulseless hand so we'll be we'll be talking about this in a short while again for all those who have joined just want to tell you you have done the right thing on being in the time because these two lectures are something that you will require throughout few things that i learned from yesterday's session we will have more of discussions today my request is keep yourself mute and uh, keep asking your doubts in the chat box and uh, you know if by chance you have to move out of the session we can only allow you after that particular talk is over because in uh, when we have these large number of participants you know even in 20 minutes even one of you make a click that's huge for the session and uh, i got a lot of messages yesterday sir uh, why are you not uploading these sessions on recordings so i was speaking to professor kumar in the morning and i told sir these sessions are like wonderful breeze of a wonderful valley you can feel them once and then once you're out of it you'll remember it forever they are not recording they are extra it is something which is being special and you should learn to value it it is just like on the day of exam we leave everything aside and we are there for the exam we have no reason that can stop us that is how you people have to value this uh, these sessions and i told you yesterday also that i really wish that i was fortunate that all the teachers can come together you know you are you are having on the screen about 150 to 200 years of orthopedic experience that's on screen combined of four to five teachers in each session value it each line spoken by them is a summary of a book whole textbook yeah man so the request is that keep mute and uh, as is the rule for conceptual orthopedics the the person who works silently at the back the backbone of conceptual orthopedics if i say i will request professor sudhir kumar sir to inaugurate the session pediatric trauma session 2 mainly of elbow region and upper limb over to you sir oh well <clears throat> very nice of you apur to have uh, reinforce the words that attending these session is like enjoying the breeze of a valley and once you are out of it the breeze is you can only have a remembrance of the breeze and uh, and carry that uh, important aspect and enjoy it. i take this opportunity to welcome all the delegates and my my colleagues on this session of pediatric injuries a second day and uh, 
I hope that this will make quite a few things clear and uh, will also incite the interactive activity from our students. With these words, I take this opportunity to open this session. Thank you. Over to Dr. Poof. Thank you very much, sir. And now, Dr. Avinda Dimri, sir, your inputs about yesterday and uh, about the talks today, sir, the significance of these talks. Dr. So, thank you, Conceptual Orthopedics, for organizing this uh, and welcome all the candidates. Uh, yesterday, we covered the generic aspect of pediatric trauma, especially about the physis anatomy, uh, physical injuries, uh, compartment syndromes, non-accidental injuries. And uh, as uh, those who participated would have uh, realized that uh, there's a lot to know, even at, uh, at our stage when we've been in this business for uh, most of faculty for more than 20, 30, 40 years, we keep learning. Uh, and hope our discussion, and uh, which is more important rather than a lecture format, uh, was useful to you. Our aim is always not to uh, give you something like a rote learning or uh, something you can recall uh, just as a factual knowledge. Our aim is to actually make you uh, a clinician who have uh, uh, rationale to think about problem solving. So our aim is not to just tell you theory of uh, pediatric trauma. Our aim, you, if you've seen yesterday, every faculty member was trying to tell you why is pediatric trauma different than adult trauma? It is not that we coming and we just giving a lecture to you about uh, some pediatric injury. We want you to think you, we want you to be a, a, a clever and competent and efficient orthopedic surgeon who will think about why pediatrics is different than adult and how then in its diagnosis and management, we have to change our strategy. So uh, I hope we delivering you uh, knowledge in, in that particular format rather than just a rote learning or uh, uh, a factual recall, which you can get from any book or uh, Google search or any online nowadays. So today, uh, on a similar fashion, we are coming more into from generic orthopedic trauma to more specific trauma. And the most important uh, aspect of it uh, from exam point of view is the elbow trauma. So I'm sure today will be an exciting day uh, to know about the elbow trauma. And again, the same format. It's not that everybody knows it's in book. You all can read about supracondyle and lateral condyle. It is for you to think as a problem solver, as an integrating knowledge and then applying for your uh, practice and uh, talking in the exam that fashion. And I hope you will appreciate that format of it. And that's why, as Apur said, this is a, a, a lovely breeze. Uh, it is not something uh, which you go and open your books and just read about it. It is uh, we talking to you and then among ourselves, we are discussing what are the problems uh, or questions for candidates and problems for young clinician to solve. Uh, so I hope that will be useful to you uh, with these words. Uh, I keep back to Apoor. Thank you very much, sir. I will share an incident of my MS exam with everybody. I have been trained orthopedics at University College of Medical Sciences in Delhi. And uh, we were told that if you get a case of cubitus varus, stick to the diagnosis of probably underlying, probably underlying 
mal united supracondylar fracture humerus and as the examiners of medical colleges are you know they they would drag me to different diagnoses and will make me speak different things but i remember the words i was told stick to common things and basics just stick to basics and whatever are the findings that you see there report them and uh, then i was finally asked by my examiner that what does rockford green say about the cubitus varus as a complication of mal union of lateral condyle humerus right even then i was quite i said mal union on lateral condyle humerus is extremely rare sir lateral condyle humerus is known for non union and if you really go tonight before you sleep you have to do two things today when you go to sleep watch the highlights of uh, india and england match because you are going to miss it today you are you should miss it today i i believe you have taken the right decision and read what does the complication of lateral condyle humerus non union and mal union respectively lead on to a deformity with this i will request uh, the first talk to be started